Hi, that's uh, Jonathan Wilson here. Uh, welcome to the first video of um, how to learn WordPress. The first thing that you need to to have is a host account and um, and a domain, of course. The host account is I use just host. I mean, there are details at the bottom of the video. You can sign up for them if you don't have an account. But to get to this point of of setting up WordPress. You assumably have a host account and you have a domain. Otherwise, it'd be very difficult to do it otherwise. On a computer, if you didn't have that, it would be difficult too. Despite that, the first thing to do is log into your just host, which you can see I'm in my account at the minute. Now, there's lots of stuff on this control panel and it gets really confusing. So don't get lost, just stick to what I'm going to show you at this point and take it step by step. There is the first thing you need to do is you bought your domain and you have your host account hopefully with the same providers to have it separate it can get quite confusing and messy but nevertheless first thing you need to do is you need to add that domain to your account although you bought it you need to add it <coughs> then what you do is you then simply put in without the www the name of your website And the extension .net .com but whatever you, you you bought now there's a password here you can do it manually but I highly suggest you use a password generator that can stop um, spam and hacking and all sorts of trojans that can get in phishing hacks and all the rest of it and I suggest that you also keep copy of this type of information so I'm going to select this option and I'm going to use the password. At the same time, I've already prepared myself a little notepad and I'm going to put the password in there because I need to know those details. So we go back here and if you're happy with everything and everything's ticked off it seems okay, then add domain. Then you'll get this message saying here, the add on domain for how to make make a website.net has been created. So that's success, right? Then you just go back to your home button here, or you can go back. You find your own way to navigate, but just go back to home would be easier. And the next thing you need to do is now that you've you've actually configured your your domain to your host account, now you can then add the WordPress. Now the WordPress I use is through Fantastico, a little blue smiley face. So I'll just click on that. You would see obviously this as a new person, nothing's been installed. So we're going to put a new installation in. Now if you didn't, if you didn't sign in, if you didn't register your domain, you wouldn't have anything come up here. Obviously I have a few accounts in here. So the one that we're going to attach a WordPress to is the how to make, make a website but this one here you just leave normal now the administration part of it is something that you have to be a bit curious about if you put in admin you know people know that so it's pretty easy to you know the people to get into your accounts and hack them so just think of something different um, I'll just put in um, how to And the password as well, you need to keep that unique. If you have a password generator, it would be pretty advisable. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple. As this is simply for training purposes. Now it's going to ask you for administration, administration nickname. We can call it yourself whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to be administration. Then you need to have an email where your administration will be sent. Um, I would use my personal email at this point. You can always set up a hosting email, which I'll show you in some other video. Um, but this, in this, this case, let's just keep it simplified. And the site name, obviously, it's not not your your the original domain or one your site, unless it is. But in my case, it's the site name. It can be how to make a website 
of the WordPress. Okay, and a description, um, how to uh, tips and guides on how to learn WordPress. Okay, now you can change all this stuff once you get into your administration side, which I'll show you in a minute. But that's basically how you set it up. So you just simply go install WordPress. Now these information will come up. Um, I just suggest that you that you copy and paste this um, at the moment. What we'll do is I'll finish installation. I'll show you what will happen. So now it's all been in. This is the information that you need to keep. So it wouldn't hurt just to copy and paste that bit. Into your OneNote. So what that means is that your password, uh, username, the username is how to and the password is well. No, I wouldn't be telling that now, would I? And then you got the administration login, okay, which is quite handy, which you're going to use very shortly. And at the same time, if you put your email in here, it will email you your login details and password. That way you don't get lost. At the same time, it's always good to prepare. So that's it. So you just send the email off, and that's it set up. Now, what you do then is, if you go back to your OneNote or your email, wherever you get confirmation from, you'll get that link where it goes forward slash WP, which stands for WordPress Admin. You need that folder there. If you copy and paste that into your browser, you'll get this administration panel coming up, which is your administration panel. So you need to you need to record that somewhere um, for your safekeeping. Um, then what you do is you sign in. Now, if you remember your sign in details, then you'll be okay. And you can say, remember me, do you remember you on this computer, and you log in. And here we are. You've just now added your WordPress to your hosting account. And if you want to see your website, you can just click on this shortcut here. And you'll see that a standard website will come up. Which is how to make, make a website with WordPress. Hello world. That's the description. I put in tips and guides on how to learn WordPress. It's that simple, guys. That's how you set it up. In later videos, other videos will go a little bit deeper, but that's the first step anyway. Good luck.